Good uh, guys, and today we're going to do another lot of practice questions, and this time I'm going to do VLSM, a variable length subnet masking, and it's sort of uh, like explaining it simply sub subnets inside of subnets. As we can see in the diagram here, we've divided up the network into multiple segments, subnets inside subnets, so subnet subnet section. Question 120, which IP feature allows you to use different subnet masks on different subnets uh, within the, the network? I've just said exactly what it is. The answer is C, VLSM. Uh, the variable length subnet masks feature allows us to use different subnet masks for different subnets within an organization. 121, you are connecting two of your office locations together over a WAN link. Each office has a router with an IP address assigned. Which should your subnet mask be in order to leverage the best use of address space? So the key concept of the question here is the best use of address space. And uh, since we only need two addresses uh, to have the LAN, WAN link to function, uh, if we do two to the power of two is four, take away two, don't forget to those addresses. And we have two valid addresses, so that would be 30 out of 32 bits which would equate to D being the answer. 122, your organization network diagram is shown in the figure below. Your company has the class C address range of 109.11.3.3.0. You need to subnet the address into three subnets and make the best use of available address space, which of the following represents the address scheme you would, you, you would apply to the New York office. Again, the key point of this question is best use of available addresses. Um, so if we do a little bit of maths, if we do seven host bits, two to the power of seven is 128, minus two is 126 addresses, and we've got 125 users. So that would equate to B being the answer. And the final question for today, 123, using the network diagram shown in the figure below and having the goal of making the best use of the IP address space, which of the following represents the address scheme you would apply to the WAN link? Again, looking at it, best use is the key term and it's very similar to the question before. Since uh, we only need two valid IP addresses for the WAN link, we can do uh, E, the uh, 199.11.33.160 subnet 30 so that would be four addresses take away the two addresses would give it two valid addresses and that's all it needs to work so that's all for today guys uh thanks for hanging around uh, don't get, forget to give the video a like and subscribe for more of these as well and uh, feel free to check out uh, some of my older videos as well I've got a bit of a series happening so feel free to check it out thanks for hanging around and i'll catch you guys on the next one